Hi, my name is Jeff and welcome to Pacific Northwest Fishing Adventures. Uh, today we're going to talk about long line techniques I've used over the past and uh, stay tuned. Okay, so let's talk about different techniques of long line. So long line is for getting that special depth or maybe you don't have a downrigger and you're trying to work with what you got. Uh, I'll show you some of my experiences in the beginning when I started kokanee fishing, trout fishing and trolling around. I, I didn't have a downrigger at first so uh, I started off in the beginning with a, a banana weight. Uh, some people call it something different. And I had a swivel to about 17 to 18 inches of monofilament line to a swivel to a dual lock snap like so now this works pretty good I mean I let, let out about 100 feet to 150 feet depending on where I want in the water column and I will post the depth chart after so you know what depths you're at with certain amounts of weight and turtle speed so we'll get to that at the end of this video uh, so that works okay but I didn't feel like I was really, uh, I seemed to be losing more of the fish when I got to the boat because the weight, they would fight the weight uh, and get off all the time. So then I came up with another one. I've seen people use uh, downrigger clips with weights, which is pretty cool. Uh, it worked pretty good, but I find that if a fish is really, really fighting, uh, you can lose the whole setup and then you're just out. So, uh, so I looked up and I saw these. And these are called planar board clips. Now, what's nice about these is that when it's on the line, you click it and it's not coming off. So this works pretty good. You can add weights to it to get to the depth you want. So you can, like here, this is a half ounce and then here is a four ounces so I mean you, you could play around and figure out what depths you want how deep you want to go how you use that technique uh, is you you have your dodger your lure you're pulling out your main line and I put out about 40 feet or so and then I would actually pull out my 40 feet take my planer board clip with the weight put it on a string and clip it now this is a great technique remember this is 40 feet in between there so this is just a rough example but this worked really good and then I let out about a hundred to 150 feet again I went by the chart that I'm gonna post at the end of this uh, video so hopefully I helps you the only downfall about doing this setup is that when I'm bringing in the fish uh, I have to take this off like so you know, have a buddy do it or I do it where I'm swinging my hand around trying to get it uh, which that could cause losing a fish too so this worked pretty good but uh, I actually came up with another one and it worked to me it works even better I, I got both worlds into one thing so uh, what you use is you get yourself a, a sinker slider dual with a dual snap is what they call it so it looks like this. It slides on your string back and forth so there's no friction. Okay. I add a uh, eight millimeter bead. Okay. To a swivel with a snap, like so. Now I'm gonna take this off so you guys kind of get an example of what I'm talking about. So this worked pretty good. Uh, it saved me no more popping off clips and things like that. So this worked pretty good. So it slides on my string like so. So no drama. You can actually feel the bite. And when it got down to the end, it would actually hit the swivel, as you can see. Keeps it. The reason why I put a bead in there is so it doesn't uh, break the string, cause any friction. It's it's good to go. Well, on top of that, I added a bumper string. So you can use 90 pound to 120 pound. I prefer thicker. Honestly, this was a uh, extra piece that I had for making, extending my downrigger clips and uh, for salt. 
So I decided to use this 17 to 18 inches of uh, monofilament, 120 pound or 90 pound, wherever works, in between. So I made a loop snap and uh, clipped it with the uh, connection sleeves like so. And then on the other side, I did it again. I made a loop, but this time I actually added the barrel swivel, as you can see, like this. And then I clipped it, which goes to a snap. So, we'll give you an example how that all looks. I, I promise I will post some pictures. I know I've had a few videos already on my channel, but so here's your start for the beginning. Here's your dual lock snap slider to your B, to your swivel, to your snap, to the end of my bumper. Like so to my so I have my bumper in between now I got my barrel swivels going on there with the with the snap and then I attach my dodger now uh, some people were worried about have asked me before like doesn't that affect your flasher because of the thickness of the monofilament uh, any of those things I have yet to have an issue I actually find that the thicker line in between my main line with the slider and the weight and all that stuff to this flasher actually moved better. Having the thicker line, it kept it more stiff, which caused the Dodger to actually flow back and forth even better than it was before. Now, granted, I've used this system for King Salmon, Sockeye Fishing over in Baker Lake. Uh, I've used it on kokanee, walleye, trout, and it's one of my go-to setups for long lining. So, of course, you know, what's also what's nice is if you don't even need, uh, if you just want to do it straight off the top with no weight or anything, you just take off the weight and just run it straight out. I still keep the uh, additional bumper because I find that having a little space between the flasher and your weights, it, it actually, uh, I personally think it doesn't mess with the fish and they actually get more attracted to it. So that's just one technique. Uh, so we talked about using a banana weight, a, a planer board clip or downrigger clip some use. Uh, and mine is the bumper string, bumper with the weight sliding, whatever. It all works. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. This is my first time doing a how-to video. So again, I just want to help people get educated and getting better at their fishing so I figure by posting something like this can help out so if you enjoyed what you like please subscribe and like we'll be posting more videos as we go great you have a good day